Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to my new studio. If you have been following my Instagram stories, then you have known that I was busy with moving up from my tiny little rental room to this beautiful condo, which is a rental as well. So the main reason why I moved into this new place is because I wanted to have more space for creativity where I can just fix all my styles permanently without the need of setting up for each video shoot which is what I did in my previous room and I'm not gonna lie it's a pain in the butt having to shift the tripod, the lightings and etc and I won't even start on the part of being inconsistent but having said that I believe having this permanent-ish studio setup helps me to focus on producing content and just improve my general workflow and efficiency so that I can create better content for you guys even though I am still a full-time employee. Yes, you heard that right. I am now still a part-time content creator. Anyways, enough of sit-down talking. That's not the point of this video. You came for the studio tour. So let me walk through the entire space for you. So the first thing I want to show you is my workstation. This is the IKEA Edison table with a oak wood finish and it's supported by two very strong steel frame so it doesn't wobble at all. So I highly recommend it. It's a value spending uh, which I think is great for any home workspace or whatever. So this is a full HD Acer 27 inch monitor. It's pretty old already about 3 to 4 years old so I'm probably changing it to a 4K or a ultra wide monitor. Uh, let's see. So the next thing is my favorite part of the entire setup, which is this uh, IQ Unix F96 uh, mechanical keyboard. So this is the Cherry MX uh, Brown switch. So it's really nice to type with. It's not the cheapest keyboard, but uh, definitely a nice touch of color, a splash of blue and white and orange in the midst of all these black and white stuffs. So the next thing I want to show you is this Secret Lab Titan chair. So this thing is not cheap as well but it's well well worth it. I used to have backache but after having this chair I no longer have any backache anymore. So I used to spend like what four to six hours on weekdays every single night editing my videos and also about 10 to 14 hours every single day on weekends. So definitely well worth it especially we are facing computers so much in this uh, COVID uh, era. And the next important thing is this Godox SL60W LED light with, with this huge ass dome diffuser. So that LED light is being diffused by this huge dome meant to try and replicate the sunlight which hits on your face so that light is soft enough and it looks a bit cinematic as you can see in my previous video. I'll probably put a b-rolls on this uh, footage so that you can see whatever I'm talking about. Moving on, I have my MacBook Pro here. So this is definitely the workhorse for my entire channel, content creation and whatever that is. And the next thing on this setup is this Shure SM7B. So this is one of the world's best podcast microphone. Just google it and you can see it all over the internet. So this is being used by Logan Paul and also Joe Rogan's podcast. So definitely it helps to you know fix things up and I can have it permanently set up on this Rode PSA1 microphone arm so that whenever I want to create content I just have to swivel it through and I can start creating content over that side. So saves me a lot of time and removes the friction of creating content and setups. And over here, this is the Focusrite Scarlett Solo audio interface. So that Shuri SM7B is a dynamic microphone so it needs to be powered by this audio interface which gives it phantom power of 48 volt. And also this is to connect to my headset which is a studio microphone. I believe it's the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pro uh, which is actually hang on the other side of my table over here. So as you can see here, this is the Bay Dynamic Studio Monitor headphones and this is my wireless headphones which I use quite a lot. It's uh, about 3 years old right now, it's pretty beaten up. Yeah, I'm not sure you can see this. Yeah, so it's really useful whenever I'm like doing chores or going around. So this Bluetooth wireless headset really helps me, you know, I just love music. I just put on Spotify and every house chores just feels like game to me. Anyway, moving on. So this is the tripod. This is the KNF tripod. I really love this tripod because it, it can do so many things. So let me just quickly show you. This is one of my favorite feature of this tripod. I can just unscrew this and pull this thing up and voila, as you can see. Oh no, sorry, not this way. What a fail. So open this, I believe open this knob and I can turn it up. And as you can see now, I have this top down shot that I can use to firm 
top down shots of any thumbnail or whatever facing downwards so something that is pretty unique it's not the cheapest it's about 480 ish for this tripod it's also pretty new so i just want something new and sturdy and which can support my equipment plus there's a lot of uh, axes over here so definitely well worth it uh, investment as well and moving on we have this ikea louder lighting so this thing is actually pretty unique uh, it's from ikea and i actually can't find any stock on ikea malaysia except for ikea terbrow joho which i don't know why is it because no one goes to ikea terbrow let me know in the comment section down below so this lighting i can't find it online you can't order online there's no second hand on facebook marketplace on muda.my on lazada on shopee there's no scalper selling this as well it's all out of stock so this light, I actually bought it from Carousel. Luckily, I saw the posting like one hour after the seller post. And it's a secondhand light, but actually it looks as good as new. I actually paid almost full retail price for this because it's just out of stock everywhere and everyone is looking for this light. I have no idea why. Anyways, the reason why I wanted this is because it just creates a little bit of accent to my dull background. I don't know, is it blue or grayish blue uh, background? So having something curvy behind my head it just fills the void of this uh, small little space of this wall and what's inside it is actually a xiaomi smart bulb so i can actually adjust the lighting here on my phone so as you can see here i have a favorite i can actually change it to cool so i can also change it to studio warm and there's a lot of things you can customize with this so it's actually controlled by this uh, app as well so I will just leave it as it is with the studio warm and move on. We have this, uh, of course, this is a fake plant. This is the IKEA, I don't know what they call it, IKEA fake car or something. This is just a fake plant uh, from IKEA. It just helps to, you know, put some greenery inside the room so that it doesn't look as dull. And over here, we have this rack, which is IKEA Fialbo or something which is an iron rack with a wooden top oak wood as well so it matches the entire accent uh, entire team of this uh, studio as well so over here we have some quotes as some of you might have noticed is from my previous studio as well and over here we have this model x with the golden fork behind it so i have no idea what to do with this place or with the fork microphone for now so i'll just leave it as it is and some greeneries and also i believe this is the gundam s3 red frame so i used to do gundam or, or should i call it gunpla quite a bit gunpla modeling so and then this is the metabots roku show this is one of my favorite anime i don't do them anymore so this is just some collections that i brought from my hometown so some more greeneries and over here we have some books and down here we have some of my studio equipments so we have this uh spare uh lenses some lenses over here so this is the led light that i used to use for my old studio the blue color light if you notice uh, previously and also over here we have some extra tripod uh, i think this is the hot shuma extension for camera and this is the mini tripod whenever i need to use my camera as a webcam beside my monitor so this is just a small tripod it's just really handy to have all these small equipments around whenever you need them and this is the Camlink 4K. So this allows my camera to turn into a webcam. So it converts the signal from my uh, camera and turns it into the webcam so that I can go for live stream or whatever. Not that I've done live stream, I will probably do live stream one day. But uh, for now, it's always best to have the equipment ready whenever I need it. So moving on, uh, as you can see over here, this is actually, let me turn it off. This is actually my old lighting that I don't really use anymore but I found that this space is pretty dark so having that extra own small light flooding this entire space helps to brighten up the entire ambient of my background so I'll just leave it there for now it's a little bit ugly but no choice so that's about it and behind this is actually one of the best cable management you have seen in the world actually no I'm just kidding it's pretty hideous this entire thing is powered by this uh, Belkin 8-in-1 surge protector 
So as you can see here, I have a lot of plugs going on. Uh, this is for my MacBook. This is for my monitor. This is for my key light. This is for my secondary light. This is for my iPad and all around charging purpose. This is for my USB-C hub, which is a 7-in-1 USB-C hub. And this is for my wireless charger, which I have here so that I can charge my iPhone 11 whenever I want. So it's pretty handy. I try to hide it as best as possible. But obviously, cable management, you can only do so much. Yeah, I know it's a little bit ugly, but I'm still planning to reorganize it once I change my monitor into a 4K monitor and I will attach it, I think, with an ergo arm or whatever they call it, which is flexible to move around. So by that time, I'll probably reorganize the entire wire and, you know, make it better. But for now, it is what it is. I'll just leave it as it is. So the next key items on this setup is actually this ikea alex drawer so this is a five slot drawer if i'm not mistaken which is an oak wood finish as well pretty nice drawer i highly recommend it uh, if anyone wants to buy it uh it's not cheap as well it's about 300 ringgit but definitely worth it the build quality is sturdy and solid and the reason why if you are wondering i have this black cloth is because i built this drawer at 2 30 in the morning and i actually was so sleepy and so tired after moving my house and actually you know i installed wrongly so the bottom plate is actually at the top so don't tell anyone this is just between me and you so actually to improvise it i just covered it with a black cloth so the damage has been done already i can't really reverse what's done is done so also helps with preventing scratches so why not right and also the next part which is also the key part of this entire setup is this uh, logitech mx master 3 so this is a mouse wireless mouth with seven programmable uh, keys uh, over it so very helpful for any video editors or just any productivity tool that you ever need for your setup i highly recommend it definitely one of the best value for money item i ever purchased and also at the bottom of this is a foot rest i don't really use it as much but it definitely helps to have something ergonomics uh, you know sometimes you just feel like tweaking around your legs and stuff uh, rather than just lying down flat on this uh, rug speaking of the rug this is actually a about 1.7 meter square ish rug from Kaison. so it just makes this entire place feels premium and nice to step on but on top of it it's also act as a sound damper for this entire setup but anyways i still haven't done any sound treatment for this entire studio and also house as you can see here things are still pretty blunt and there's a lot of walls which might end up bringing echo towards my studio and microphone but luckily the dynamic microphone doesn't pick up echo as much as my previous uh, microphone which is what i'm using right now the rode video mic ntg if i didn't remember wrongly so i will probably get some acoustic blankets or some sound dampers or some acoustic panels to probably just sound treat this space a little bit better but for now i'll just make do with the rug over here oh and by the way if you are wondering i'm actually staying here with my partner she's currently out of town so i'm all here by myself i'm not that crazy to rent a two bedroom condo to stay all by myself but that said that bedroom that extra bedroom over there is currently serving as a store for my equipments and extra boxes and etc but if any of our close ones or our friends happens to come over then definitely it will be a nice touch to have an extra room for them to stay over well obviously you can see that the house is still pretty empty there's still a lot of empty spots for me to fill in but for now um i will probably bring in more furniture lights decors uh sound dampers and whatever and uh yeah, I will just tweak things around to make this uh, house feels as cozy as possible. If you have any decor tips or item recommendations or whatever, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm sure a lot of you guys know more than me when it comes to the interior design of a home. So yeah, please help me out. So that's it for the studio. There's nothing much I can show you here. So let me just run through one round of the living room. It's nothing special. So here is the IKEA shoe drawer. So pretty neat. I actually like it. So again, uh, dark oak wood. Uh, love the color. So this is some uh, key basket from Kaison. Some greenery again. And if you can recognize this, it was actually from my previous uh, sta uh, studio stable as well. So this is a coin coin box. Do you call it a coin box or whatever you call it? And a mask for obvious reasons. And also, so here is the sofa, 
uh, I love this color it matches well with the curtain so this curtain actually it looks cool but at the same time it works for two main function first of all it helps me to block out the light uh, from the outside it's actually still pretty bright over here as you can see yeah it's still pretty bright so the purpose of having this uh, they call it the night curtain is so that I can block out the light so that I can simulate a dark studio space which that I can then control all the lighting with my studio equipment so I won't have any problems with any light bleeding from the external uh, outside of the window and another function of it is actually act as a sound damper so behind all these curtains are actually uh, windows so having this uh, curtain to absorb the sound uh, really helps with the reverberation of the uh, studio's uh, voice so it's pretty empty over here i'm not sure what i'm gonna put here probably a lamp to make it more lively and more cozy and yeah there's nothing much here some boxes on top of this tv console this is where i charge my uh, apple watch I have no idea what I've put here, so I will leave it here for now. So TV console, I put some of the stuff inside to keep it clean and tidy on the external. And then just a huge ass rug uh, provided by the owner. And some greeneries that I got from Kaison as well. On, on top of this uh, iron uh, table with some wood finish below the glass uh, top, I guess. And then just a small little dining hall for six people. So you can sit for six here. So there's a bench over here, so pretty neat. I love the color scheme. It matches really well with the entire living room. Some blue and uh, dark oak wood. And over here is the kitchen. Again, nothing fancy, just some basic kitchen. So this is just the basic Panasonic water filter. I can't afford the cold way water filter yet. So we'll just make do with that Panasonic water filter. And uh, moving here, nothing much here. So pretty much all of these are IKEA mugs. I love my Nescafe Classic. Uh, what kind of coffee do you guys drink? Let me know in the comments down below. And my rice cooker. So for now, I actually have my mushroom braised chicken rice inside. So it's something that I've cooked uh, during lunch and I have extra for dinner. And here is my electric kettle, which I think I'm gonna replace it with a hot water dispenser. Uh, it will be more convenient to have the water dispenser as opposed to the electric kettle. And yeah, my chopping board and this uh, huge ass bowl uh, from IKEA as well. So pretty neat. I love how it looks and it just matches well with the wooden tone. So uh, yeah, I just love the accent of the extra wood when it comes to this uh, sort of marbly glass white solid finish of this uh, countertop, of this kitchen countertop. So there's a lot of lightings here and yeah it just makes the entire living room feels very lively so i actually love the fact that this house is actually pretty well lit there's a lot of down lights over there and that fan itself is also a light as well so there's one light here and also there's another fan light over there so everything is actually pretty well lit and over here there's nothing really interesting to show you here that is my master bedroom and this is the second bedroom so over there is the external bathroom so all in all there's two bathroom and two bedroom in this uh, condo and over here is actually the door towards my yard which is where i do my laundry with this uh, two-in-one washing machine and dryer unit so pretty helpful because there's no place for me to hang my clothes yeah so that's about it it's a pretty neat condo for two people to stay yeah i won't complain and i'm actually really grateful to have all of this uh, while being able to work and produce content for all of you guys so i'm actually really grateful for whatever i have in this condo so if you are wondering why i paid for this uh, condo even though it's technically better to buy a house which has the same amount of installment as the rent i'm paying right now that's because i'm personally not a huge fan of condos i still prefer landed properties like a terrace or a semi-d i mean it's just my personal preference i'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole but what about you guys do you prefer high-rise properties like condos and apartments or do you prefer landed properties like terrace and semi-d let me know in the comment section down below so back to the studio that's about it for the tour and as cliche as it sounds all of this would not be even close to possible if not because of your viewership and your support 
And for that, I just want to let you know that I am really grateful for all I have. If you were to tell me one and a half years back then that I would have my very own studio in such a short period of time, I would not even believe you in the slightest bit. If you have been following my channel for a while now, then you would have known that I worked super hard to create a lot of factual and research-based videos, which I know through comments that some of you really appreciate it. And to read all of that, guys, you don't know how much it means to me. One and a half years ago, I was at the brink of depression and felt totally helpless with the progression of my career. But thankfully, this YouTube channel, as well as a few side ventures that I've done in the past year, kept me motivated all along. And that is the reason why until today, I still feel ever so motivated to work hard every single day for this channel even though I am still a fully employed 9 to 6 employee. For now, nothing will stop me from producing better content for you guys, so expect to see better and more content. And for starters, you will probably see some YouTube shots, Instagram reels and whatnot. And just better content quality all in all. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you are on your own hustling journey, I wish you all the best in whatever you are doing. Just keep sticking through and put out your best effort. I am sure whatever seems impossible can be made possible. Alright, that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay invested and as usual, I will see you in the next one.